Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss the third numerical on sampling theorem. Let me read out the question first. If capital E denotes the energy of a strictly band limited signal G of T, then prove that E which is energy equals 1 divided by 2 W into summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude square of G of n by 2 W, where W is the highest frequency component of the signal G of T. Right. So, this is a very simple numerical and it is in fact a very small numerical. Let me start with the solution now. We are told that G of T is a strictly band limited signal. That means the frequencies of G of T can be represented as minus W less than or equals to F less than or equals to plus W, where W is the highest frequency component of the signal G of T. From the proof of the sampling theorem, we can write an expression for such a band limited signal as G of t is equals to summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity G of n divided by 2 w multiplied by sink of 2 w t minus n. Let me call this as equation 1. I have taken this equation from the proof of the sampling theorem which I have discussed in one of my previous videos. If you have not watched that video yet, you can click on the link shown in the top right corner right now or I leave the link of the same in the video description below. Coming back to the numerical, let me now write a generic expression for the energy of the signal G of T. It is given by energy E equals integral minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude square of g of t into dt which can also be written as integral minus infinity to plus infinity g of t into g star of t dt where g star of t represents the complex conjugate of the signal g of t. Let me call this as equation 2. Now, I will substitute equation 1 which is G of t into equation 2. Therefore, the energy of the signal E is equals to we have integral minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, I will have to write the expression for G of t which is the RHS of equation 1. Let me write that now. Summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity G of n divided by 2 w multiplied by sink of 2 w t minus n. Then we have a multiplication and I have to now write the same for g star of t. So, this is once again summation, but now I have to take a different variable. I cannot use n. Let me use k. So, summation k varying from minus infinity to plus infinity g star of k divided by 2 w multiplied by sink of 2 w t minus k dt. Now, I will simplify this equation by separating the continuous terms and discrete terms. Please note g of n by 2 w and g star of k by 2 w, they are samples. That means they are constants. So, let me take the summation terms outside. So, summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity and summation k varying from minus infinity to plus infinity. Then we have g of n divided by 2 w multiplied by g star of k divided by 2 w. Then the integration comes from minus infinity to plus infinity. What is left out? We have sink of 2 w t minus n into sink of 2 w t minus k into dt. Right? So, however, the last part of the equation which is the integral term can be simplified by using a standard equation. That is integration from minus infinity to plus infinity sink of 2 w t minus n into sink of 2 w t minus k into dt is equal to 
1 divided by 2w for k equals to n and 0 for k not equal to n. This is a standard equation taken from the signal space representation of the sampling theorem. Now, let me call this as equation 3 and this as equation 4. So, I will now say substitute equation 4 into equation 3. So, the energy of the signal is equal to, I will write down the summation terms first, summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, I have second summation. However, let us come back to the RHS of equation 4. Look at this. The RHS says whenever n and k are not equal to each other, the integral term is 0. And when n is equal to k, the integral term is equals to 1 by 2w. Therefore, I do not have to write the second integral term because the RHS has a non-zero value only when n is equal to k. So, I can stop at the first summation itself. Then I have g of n divided by 2w, then g star of n divided by 2w again. Why? Because n is equal to k multiplied by the simplification of the integral term which is 1 divided by 2w as per equation 4. Therefore, I can now simplify this as 1 divided by 2w into summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity g of n divided by 2w multiplied by g star of n divided by 2w. Now, g of n by 2w into g star of n by 2w is equal to the magnitude square of g of n by 2w. Therefore, I will rewrite this equation for energy of g of t as 1 divided by 2w into summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude of g of n divided by 2w whole square. Right. So, if you look at this equation what we have now obtained and come back to the numerical and check what we are asked to prove they are one and the same. Therefore, we can now say the energy of a strictly band limited signal g of t which has a highest frequency component of w is given by 1 by 2 w into summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude square of g of n by 2 w where g of n by 2 w represents the sample of the signal g of t. Right. So, that is about this numerical. If you like this video, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.